there's there's no doubt uh you know we get through this road trip and and we get some guys wounded right now a four and six road trip is not the end of uh you know the world um we get back home uh we had a chance to 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 regroup and you know we ran into a uh very hot uh cubs team um you know a lot of things i i i I think, you know, a little bit banged up for sure. But uh, the way the Cubs are playing right now, um, you know, you got to get some runs on those starters because the way that bullpen's throwing right now, uh, they get a lead and uh, that's kind of been their formula for success. So, um, you know, we didn't play our best ball by any means. That was a pretty scary collision uh, between Tommy and, and Hasung. How are they both physically feeling right now? Uh, very scary, uh, you know, when you see it, you know, two guys going full speed and they, they collide. Um, uh, Kim has, uh, you know, gone through the, the, the concussion protocols um, and the doctors feel right now um, that uh, he's doing well and it doesn't look like um, uh, that, he, that he has a concussion. Obviously, we're going to monitor uh, over the next, uh, you know, day or so. Uh, but uh, with that being said, uh, he's feeling better now. He was certainly shook up uh, when it happened. As far as Tommy is uh, concerned, uh, he got banged up pretty well there. Uh, he had some stitches underneath the chin. And uh, when we get back home, uh, they're going to run a CT scan. Uh, his jaw, um, that's what they want to check. It could be a little bit out of uh, whack or out of line. So they're going to run a CT scan when we get back, and, and, and we'll kind of see. But uh, they got his chin stitched up. And, uh, you know, we'll wait for more information tonight after the, the, the CT scan. Honestly, when that happens, uh, you know, right, wrong, indifferent, uh, and you shift uh, to, to Kim and Pham, uh, just making sure because both guys were down. Um, and, uh, you know, we're fortunate that uh, they both walked off, um, you know, on their own terms, but they were definitely banged up, but certainly a scary situation. That looked like a play that normally an outfielder would be able to make the call on and, and probably had the right of way on. Tommy was clearly very upset after the play, even walking off the field. And then, what can you tell us about what happened in the dugout afterwards? There seemed to be an altercation as well. Well, unfortunately, it was the it was the perfect storm. Um, you know, a uh, little bit of a, a language barrier there. And then, no matter how many times you practice it, uh, you work on. Um, you know, over the the, the last year. Uh, perfect storm by saying, you know, packed house here at, at Wrigley and incredibly loud. And, and so, you know, they came in and, and uh, look, both both guys got their bell rung. And, and uh, you know, let me be clear on this. Um, you know, we we've got a passionate group and uh, passion is a good thing. And so, you know, at times uh, we're you know, things are going to get heated. Um, that happened. But uh, uh, passion is a good thing. Competitiveness is a good thing. And, and, uh, you know, we'll move on and we'll become closer, uh, because of it. And, uh, we'll be better next time in a packed house, uh, where we've got that same, same ball. Um, we'll be better for it going forward. It seems like there have been a few near collisions lately and several of them have involved Tommy. Is that just by coincidence or is there something going on with language barrier between him and Mateo and him and Kim or what, what seems to be going on there? Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily, you know, would say, uh, you know, Tommy's, you know, in a, we've, we, we've had a, a share. And I think any time, if you kind of look up and you think of the, the collisions or near collisions, um, you know, we've had, uh, you know, some of the maybe not everyday guys at times in there. Um, and, you know, that happens when uh, you got some guys down, you got other guys stepping up and, and, and honestly, they're playing second, maybe their third position. So um, those are the, the, the cards we're dealt with right now. And, and, and like I said, we know we've got areas we can tighten up and we'll be better for it going forward. Uh, feeling, uh, feeling much better. Uh, you know, we'll kind of see where we're at tomorrow. Probably get some swings in uh, and, and see how we're doing. But uh, overall, he was feeling uh, much better today uh, than he was when he left uh, in the game yesterday. So uh, we'll take that as a positive sign forward. June 1st, uh, we're not quite a third of the way there. So we're not the only ones in, in these situations. We're built for this. We're, um, you know, we're, we're going to go through moments. We're going to go through pockets uh, where we have, have times like this. 
this isn't the first and it's not going to be the last. Um, so um, we're, we're going to continue to, to, to keep taking care of ourselves, keep, keep competing. This thing's going to turn. Uh, it's going to turn. Uh, I know it just because the way uh, the guys are competing, the talent we have, a, a, a lot of factors. So um, it's been a it, it's been a, a, a long pocket, uh, no doubt. But um, that's the way the league is. And, um, you know, we, we got to keep moving forward and uh, get back home, get to our home crowd and get a little bit of their juice um, in the stadium uh, with us. You know, if if we're depressed over a four and six. Um, you know, road trip with the, the, the teams we've been playing and, and just like the, the situation, uh, then I think we're in the wrong mindset. Uh, now, to your point, we got seven more to go. And I've said it many times, we play our best ball when we're day to day. Uh, so we know we've got Darvish on the mound tomorrow and we're going to have a tough matchup. And, um, you know, so we, we've got to be ready to play. We've got to be ready to play our game. we got we, we got to get some runs on the board, play good defense and, and go from there. You know, I'm expecting uh, to get more information with Tommy tonight. I would say no matter what that CT scan is, I would expect to have him off his feet tomorrow. Uh, really, um, you know, even if we got the best news on, on that CT scan. Um, as far as uh, Kim right now, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're pretty encouraged with uh, the doctors not, not thinking it's a uh, concussion. Uh, so, you know, that moves him day to day. Um, and then uh, with Tatis, we had a really good day today. And so, you know, hoping at the end of the day, uh, you know, it, it could potentially be uh, more cramps, but we need to go go through um, and, and, and test him before we're ready to go. So I'd say both guys are kind of day to get day to day and uh, we'll know a little bit more tomorrow. And, you know, I think we 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 are a little a little tired, but, you know, no, no excuse. You know, we're ready. We're ready to go back tomorrow and and get to Petco and, and get the ship in the right direction again. You know, I can tell you, you know, we have a, we have dogs in there that are very hungry, you know, and we're ready. We're ready to to turn the ship back in, in the right direction. Um, you know, I think it's 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 a play that 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 we practice, you know, all the time. But a little miscommunication there. But you know, those those things happen. You know, we we play 162 games. You know, it's not always going to be going to be smooth. You know, sometimes a uh, place like that is going to happen. But you know, it's good that it happened early. You know, and hopefully it doesn't it doesn't happen again. 